Welcome back to Making Paradise. It's been about six months now since we did our first video where we outlined all of our plans for the property. I think you'll agree we're some pretty aggressive plans. So we thought we'd do an update, show you what's happened on the plans, what's still to come. We have the flower beds up around the house pretty much constructed now. We have a lot of plants we've put in the ground. There's a lot more we'll be adding to fill in these areas. Pam's established some grass walkway areas between the garden beds, working on establishing more grass outside the beds. So let's take a walk around and see what we've done on the property up, up to now. This little rock wall was one we put here facing due south so we could plant fig bushes up against it. Didn't know if it would give us enough protection from the winter here. It got down to minus two one morning this winter and we actually think the ground temperature may have been a few degrees colder than that we had about 11 figs planted up against this rock wall all but one survived through the winter and the one that did not survive did not have very good root system when we put it in it was kind of iffy we think this is probably successful it will work we planted other figs up against here some other varieties they probably won't bear this year, but they'll be establishing good roots, and hopefully we'll start having figs in upcoming years. This area here is just out in front of the house of the landscaped areas. We still haven't really done a whole lot of work in here. We'll still hope to put a koi pond in, do some other gardens, more bog gardens over here. We are not sure if this is going to happen this year or not, but it's on the plans. When we outlined our plans earlier in the year, we really had not planned anything in this area behind me here. We had rocks we would put across here just to keep them digging where we have underground cables. Started adding more rocks. This actually developed into this rock garden feature. On this corner of the driveway, we ended up building our raised vegetable beds. We also have some beds that are elevated up above the ground for herbs and mints and things that are more aggressive. We want to keep them from spreading into the ground. When we originally came up with the plans for the vegetable garden, we had not included the plans for this rock wall. Started digging up more rocks, and instead of just dumping them in a pile, we started piling them up here, making a rock wall feature outside the vegetable garden. We'll have a few vegetables out here that the deer won't bother, but we'll also have a lot of flowers along this corner. Another feature we had not planned on earlier in the year was this collection of rocks along the side of the driveway over here. This happened, we started digging up rocks out, putting in other things. They were too big to move more than once, we put them here. We'll eventually build this up as a rock wall across this area. It'll be included with the koi pond that'll go here. All of this will be landscaped area behind us. At the beginning of the year, we had a huge dirt pile here. We moved it start using it to start constructing a dam over on one side of the property we'll show you in a little bit we had a small rock pile over here since then we've been digging more rocks putting in garden beds and small fruit beds all those rocks there's now probably five or six times as many rocks as we had at the beginning of the year we'll use those to make more rock walls we started putting in our orchard area for our lower orchard back behind me here stripped the sod off, used it in the garden areas, used some of the dirt to start piling up to make these small fruit beds. We have about 50 fruit trees planted now. We have more grafted that will go in here this fall. The small fruit beds are ready to be tilled up so we can start planting smaller fruits like raspberries and blackberries and kiwis this fall out here. Blueberry bushes have been planted already out here. These will continue to grow up taller, give a nice backdrop on the rock garden area straight out from the house. This is one of the areas we're going to put a fish pond. We've stripped the topsoil out of this area, used it in garden beds. We've dug one hole in the center of this area, about three feet deep, to see how water holes in here. Even in the driest periods, it's been full of water, groundwater coming up into this area. Gives us a lot of confidence that a fish pond will work here. We've got it pretty much laid out about the size that we can dig it out. We'll get a neighbor with excavation equipment in to dig this deeper. 
that this fish pond should be successful here. Right here we have an area that was a low dip down coming across the field here. It would get wet. We'd have water standing here some. There was a big pile of logs that had been pushed up against the tree line, big stumps in it. We had a neighbor come help us move the big stumps out of here. We had a video showing that. Still have the stumps out here in the field to burn. We've reduced the pile some, but we're waiting for good burning conditions to get rid of the rest of it. We built up this area, have some drainage pipes through here now. The beginning of a, this is the beginning of the dam for a fish pond over here. We have a small creek that comes between us and the neighboring property. It's been along the fence line. We know it's been wanting to jump out of that bed, come across the field here. This year it had some heavy rain. The creek finished making the jump, so it's coming through here now. And so this will be dug out to make a trout pond over here. We have these beds that when we were digging out the topsoil from the orchard area, we dug these down about two feet, filled this up with topsoil, a couple of beds here. These still need to get tilled, but these will be some small fruits over here also. We showed you a video of us bringing in wood chips from a community mulch pile on the other side of the mountain. Since then, we found a tree trimming company doing work over on this side of the mountain, talked to them, got them to bring us all their wood chips. So we got about six truckloads of wood chips dumped here. That's going to save us from going over to get those wood chips anymore. This is our old garage structure that we use with deer fencing around it to keep deer out of our young trees we're starting. We have apple trees that were grafted this year. There were some videos about how to graft. We have seedlings of American chestnut coming up here that will get planted out on the far end of the field. We have more rootstock waiting to be grafted onto. And then we have last year's trees that were grafted that'll go into the orchard area this fall. This is the vegetable garden with raised beds that we built. There's six main raised beds. There's elevated beds around the perimeter that we have other plants in. We have deer fencing just lightly strung along the post right now. Once this wood ages a little bit more, we'll take the deer fencing down and stain it so we don't have it up permanent right now. We have more work to do in the garden. We have to build a compost bed, but eventually there'll be a chicken area on this side of the garden connected to that. Well, the 2023 summer has just sped by. We're already getting some cool mornings and we know frost is coming soon. Had a lot of projects we got done this summer. We have a lot more we didn't get to. So keep checking back with us as we continue to make paradise. See how we're keeping up with our projects.